welcome back, my friends, to another rousing rendition in L.T. Wright, Gary Vines, Bushcrafter, and 01 Scandy Ground rendition. I'm excited. I know you are, too. The handle scales are ironwood uh, with black liners. Absolutely freaking lootly gorgeous. Overall length is 8.75 inches or 222 millimeters. Blade length 4.312 inches or 110 millimeters. Blade thickness 0.125 or 3 millimeters. Blade steel 01. Freaking love it. Ironwood handles, like I said. Black liners, country of origin, USA. Much to the chagrin of many, uh, especially on here. But that's okay. It runs you about $245 at DLT Trading. And it comes to us by way of my good friend from way back when, Jr. And brother, I greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate you. Now, before we get too far into this video, there was a time in this country where 22 veterans a day took their own lives. Now, that number, stat show, is going down, but we got a long road to hoe because anything above zero is simply unacceptable. We back the blue over here. We support Leo. How do you do that, Scab? Well, I try not to break the damn law. I do here and there, but I try not to. And finally, if you are an addict, never quit quitting. So here is the deal. As you well know, from the past week, JR sent the um, RMJ Tactical Kukri, which was badass, and then he sent three bushcrafting knives, a battle horse, uh, LT Wright, which is this one, and the Ursus from White River, all screaming badass knives. Now, I got to tell you, this one, and it just happened this way, this particular one, the Gary Vines Bushcrafter in 01, is one of, if not my favorite, of the three. It's razor sharp. It's well constructed. I love the damn handles, okay? I love those ironwood handles with black liners. Absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. Scab looking good in the ensemble there with the Crocs and the socks. That's the way we roll in Northeast Florida. Now, here is the deal. We're doing some hard downward throws there. Guys, this video right here, yes, this is a bushcrafting knife. Yes, this is a hunting and camping knife. You can do all of those with them. What we're going to do in this video, just like we do just about every video, we're going to do our basic demonstrations. We're going to cut a whole bunch of shit up. I promise you that. What I want you to pay attention to, though, is when we're shaving wood three, if not four times during the video, we're going to stop. We're going to do a little shaving of the wood, a little feather sticking, uh, some curls, that kind of thing. Throw the knife into the stump several times just to give There we go with the slow-mo. This thing, this damn knife right here is a slicer's dream. One of the one of the sharpest knives out of the package I've ever reviewed. There was no damage whatsoever at the end of this video, and, and we're going to do our normal thing where, yes, we cut paper. We open the video cutting paper, close the video cutting paper. It's just kind of the way I like to do it. Some people shave hair, and, man, that's cool. I'm not a Sasquatch. It, it's, it's not an infinite uh, resource. So here's the deal. Some quick chops on that 12-gauge uh, wire, and then we're just going to strip it. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Thank you for taking the time to watch the video. I truly, truly appreciate it. Um, every now and then, I'll ask you to hit like and subscribe. It's not going to be this video, though, and we're going to do some shout-outs at the end. Now, here's the deal, guys. I am. I told y'all, y'all, the people who have been with me on this journey from day one, and in 20 days, it'll be our two-year anniversary on YouTube. Hard to believe but it, it'll be two years. I could have never done this demonstration at the beginning because I just didn't have that skill set. I'm a novice at best. We're learning every day. I play with a knife every day. This right here is a knife. Now, this is something else you're going to see throughout this video. For whatever reason, I did a lot of just light batoning. A lot, okay? A lot of processing wood. And one thing I was going to ask you guys um, I feel like we've got our demonstrations down to where we're doing okay. Um, I, I feel like sometimes I need to do a little more with wood, whether it's carving or, or something like that or the tri-stick. Um, we cut up sandblast hose. We cut up a tire. We cut up high-pressure air hose. 
Um, we cut up denim. We cut wood. We cut everything, a two-inch ratchet strap, and then this. This is one of those dried-out vines. Now, watch this knife right here. This is an old, dried-up vine, okay? Anybody who's ever tried to shave old wood, old, dried-out wood, knows what a pain in the ass that can be unless you've got a super sharp knife like this one right here. Now, look at that. Here's, here's what we're basically doing. We're making a, a stake on one end or a punji stick for the neighborhood kids, and we're making a feather stick bouquet with the other end. Look at that, son. Now, I'm going to bend over and pick it up. I didn't have to, but I did, so there we are. Now, um, we're throwing out a lot of clothes and stuff like that that, that, that it may be trying to not, neither one are really fashionistas. So we taking our denim jeans and putting them to the calls here for some de demonstrations. Now, you can see how this knife glides right through it. And I try to use stuff, guys. Yes, I use stuff from my work. I sandblast, I powder coat, I do all that kind of stuff, okay? But I try to also find some stuff that's every day that everybody can identify with, that everybody can go, yep, that's the damn sharp knife. I've cut denim. I've cut, you know, whatever. Now, most people don't cut up tires. I realize that. I do, uh, you know, so it is what it is. I don't know what that had to do with anything, but just bear with me. We're still on a roll from yesterday. And for all of you that, that bared with me through that video yesterday, thank you. I love you all. God knows I do. Now, here's some uh, water hose. This is that water hose, kind of with that canvasy outer coating and that plasticky inner coating that just sucks balls and you can see the dust coming off of it there from being at the sandblast pit. This right here impressed me more than anything. This is a toe strap or two inch ratchet strap, two pulls and we're through. And y'all can see right here down there. Now I didn't get it where it was double layered. I don't want to put that out there. But again, two pulls right through the ratchet strap. Here's some sandblast hose guys. Now watch this. I want y'all to watch this first cut right here. This is still belted heavy duty sandblast hose and it goes through it son like it was sitting still to me that's one of the most impressive things i don't know what the hell i was doing there with the hand motion probably practicing my ninja skills now we cut this twice and we're going to come back in a few and cut some high pressure air hose it's about a quarter inch thick this knife and I, i've said this many times i'll say it many more because i'm the most redundant human being on the planet if you have a sharp knife, you are never out of the fight. Now, let me say this. We've got some higher-end bushcrafting stuff in this week from JR. I got another package coming from him. Here's the deal, guys. Do you have to spend $245, $250? No, there are other options out there. I am fully aware of that. However, there are some guys who like to spend a little more because this will last you forever. I'm just telling you, it's for normal use. You know, I know some of you guys who have a survival situation every single damn time you walk out of the house, may not. But for the rest of us that are just normal Joe Blows, go to work every day and mind our own damn business, something like this, if you maintain it, do your blade maintenance, do what you're supposed to do. If you live like an environment, and I, I do, I'm going to put my eagle tears or whatever blade paste you use, take care of your shit, it'll take care of you. There's a quote for life you can tell your grandkids. Now, moving on. Here's that, that high-pressure high uh, air hose. And this is some old stuff, guys. My thought is, and I've said this also, my thought is if I can go through some of these basic everyday tasks. Now, I do change a lot of hose, have to change fittings, things like that at work a good bit. So this is very much something I do a lot. Here's a little woodwork, and, and I should have got a little closer, but I didn't, but I should have. I didn't. I'll do it next time. Look at those nice, look at that, son. That's just, this thing is a slicer's dream. The, all three work. All three work. But there's just something. One, I am a huge O1 tool steel fan, big time. Huge ironwood fan, big time. The black, just the whole package. It came with a black leather sheath with the dangler option on it. Now, I don't like I don't like it uh, with the dangler, but that's me. That's personal preference. I got I got T Rex arms. I got short arms. I'm the world's tallest dwarf, 
So for me, a dangler is a bit long, but you have that option. It's black leather, very well made, very well crafted. Really, really like this. Now, we did a couple different things here, okay? Here is some of that, that uh, uh, I, hell, I don't know, humperdink, whatever the hell it is. I can't even think of what it is. It's a really dense wood. Hackenberry, hackbush, I, it don't matter, shit. It's tough wood, but right here, we're just going to take a minute. We're going to process the whole thing up. We're going to do some uh, practice and shaving and shit like that with it. The knife held up very comfortably, okay? We did the John Peter stab test. We did the Donnie B all day throw it at the stump test and drop test. Those tests check the balance of the knife, okay? But they also check the handle scales. Was there any slippage on the handles? No. The stab test, it, it, it tests the uh, tip. Now, I've been asked a lot about prying. Would I pr Listen, guys, here's the deal on that. Let me just be honest. When I say I am a novice at best, that's not fake humility, okay? I'm still developing a set. Like I watched uh, Wingman 115 the other day. He's got a touch. He does a little prying, but he has a touch. I would literally snap every knife I have. Now, I'm using some cheaper blades. I'm practicing with that, if that makes sense. Now, somebody said, well, if you t listen to me. Listen to what I'm saying. I don't have the touch. Nothing to do with the knife. It is all a skill set. I am working on it, but I don't want to start busting $250 blades because I don't have a uh, touch. That is something I'll add down the road. But I like being up front with you. I like being honest with you. People have asked, and I like giving decent answers. Now, right here, we're at that part of the video where we're just dulling it up. So we're going to cut a lot of plastic, cut some cardboard, walk in, and cut some paper. While we're doing that, let me give you some sh shout outs, okay? Donnie B. All Day, my brother from another mother, is marching to 10,000. That's a big number, guys. Go over there, love to do, get him to 10,000. Joe, steel forged and fire, sword and knife. He's an awesome dude with an awesome channel. Nobody touches Joseph on his cinematography. And Joe, if you're listening, son, it's S7. If Matthew Jensen had to survive in the zombie apocalypse, son, he would pick S7. So there's that. Then there's Blade Talk with Scab and Joe. That's probably, it's my other channel. And Joe and I were talking today. It is ridiculous that I got over 5,000 subs and we only got 400 on Blade Talk when it's my damn channel. Go over and subscribe. I love y'all. God knows I do, but let's go. Finally, Carl Ruger and Eric Hussein are on their march to a thousand. Let's help them out. All those links will be in the description, along with a ton of other great channels and other great stuff. Check that out. Now, what do I think about this knife? I think it's straight up badassery, son. The thing works. I, that was an old piece of paper that had been outside. Now, let's go with a new piece of paper that's been inside. After all that cutting, it's still got a pretty, it's still highly functional. I'm a fan. JR, my brother, thank you so much. I'll get these cleaned up and back to you. Everything's going to be all right. That's what Mikey says. I'm scabbed. You're not. I'm gone, son.